Hello everyone. Welcome back to lecture series on aerospace propulsion. So, uh, in the previous class, uh, we were discussing about the uh, thrust equation. We derived the equation for thrust equation. Okay. So, what we are going to see in today's class is that. So, from that thrust equation, we are going to see what are the different parameters which affect the thrust produced by an engine. Okay. That's what we are going to see in today's class. That is basically what are factors affecting the thrust generated by an aircraft engine. Uh, that's what we are going to discuss in the today's class. Okay. So, uh, uh, in the uh, in terms of these uh, factors affecting thrust, uh, there are five factors which affect the thrust generation of an aircraft engine. Okay. So, in that first one, so we are going to discuss about how exactly the nozzle which is at the exit of our aircraft engine is affecting the thrust produced by a uh, engine. Okay. So, we know our thrust equation tau is equal to m dot a into uh, 1 plus f into ue minus ua plus a into p minus pa. So, this is the uh, equation for thrust produced by a craft engine. Okay. So, from this equation, okay, how exactly this um, thrust produced by the uh, aircraft engine is affected by the nozzle is that as you can see from this equation, see what is this area, AE? We are basically, it is the exit area of our nozzle. Okay. So, either it may be a convergent nozzle or convergent divergent nozzle. Say this is convergent nozzle and this is convergent divergent nozzle. The area of the nozzle is having a direct impact on the thrust produced by our engine. Okay. Say in terms of this pressure thrust, the pressure thrust is depend on the uh, pressure difference at the nozzle exit as well as the area of our um, nozzle. Okay. If the area of the nozzle is more and more means you could say the pressure thrust component in the thrust will be more and similarly the pressure difference between exit flow and the ambient flow is more means the thrust uh, produced that is a uh, component of your pressure thrust is so also will be more. Okay. So, how exactly this term P e minus P a is happening say till your nozzle is choked. Okay. Either it is a convergent nozzle or convergent divergent nozzle till your nozzle is choked. You could say that your P e will be equal to P a. Okay. That means where before your nozzle is choked there will not be any uh, pressure thrust component at all. All the thrust component will be solely belongs to the momentum. Okay. So, that is how your nozzle is affecting. If the nozzle is choke, then you will have the component of your uh, uh, what to say um, pre uh, pressure thrust. Okay. If the nozzle is unchoked, then you will not have the any component. Uh, your value will become completely 0. And similarly, uh, if the even after nozzle is choked, okay, if the exit pressure is going to be more and more, what is going to happen? The pressure thrust contribution will be increased. That will result in what will happen? That is going to reduce the momentum thrust. Okay, so why you could ask? So how come this increase in pressure thrust component is going to decrease the momentum thrust component? Is that you see what is the function of your nozzle? It is to accelerate your airflow that is to increase the velocity of your airflow okay or to convert the available pressure energy into kinetic energy suppose if the exit pressure of your nozzle is increasing means what does that mean that particular nozzle is not able to convert all the available pressure energy into kinetic energy so if it is not able to effectively convert all the pressure energy into kinetic energy means what is going to happen this ue value will be reduced okay the conversion is not taking fully your exit pressure uh, exit velocity value will be reduced that's why whenever there is an a choker nozzle is operating in which your exit pressure is uh, exit pressure and ambient pressure differences keep on increasing means the momentum thrust component will come down that's how the presence of nozzle affect the thrust produced by your engine. Okay. Now, airspeed. 
So this air speed also, air speed or you could say your uh, flight speed. So basically what is that air speed? Uh, in atmosphere, your air is still, right? Whereas your aircraft is moving through. So the relative speed or relative wind speed, what we call it as the air speed. Air speed will be equal to your flight speed. Right, there is a relative motion between your air, wind and your aircraft. So obviously, the speed at which your air is moving will be equal to the speed at which your aircraft is moving. So how exactly this air speed is affecting the uh, thrust produced is basically, you see, if the, uh, you see, we have equation, right? Once again, thrust equation, tau is equal to n dot a into 1 plus f ue minus ua. Let's forget about the pressure thrust term. Uh, just only take the momentum thrust. So in this momentum thrust equation, you can see that when we will have the uh, maximum uh, thrust, right? See when the uh, exit velocity, sorry, your flight speed is very less. Or you could say that when your aircraft speed is zero, that time only you will have the uh, maximum momentum thrust. Okay, so what happens if the air speed is increasing? What is going to happen? That momentum thrust, that is difference between the uh, inlet and exit momentum is going to be reduced with increase in air speed for the fixed mass flow rate and uh, remaining all other parameters. See, for your fixed exit velocity and your mass flow rate, the increase in air speed will result in reduction of your thrust force. That is how your air speed is affecting the thrust produced by your aircraft engine. Right? You understand now? Nah? If I am going to fix the mass flow rate of air and the exit velocity of my aircraft engine, with the increase in your aircraft speed, what is going to happen? The thrust produced by your engine is going to be decreased. Okay. So that's what you see. Uh, if I'm going to increase the air speed, what is happening? My, uh, what happens to my thrust force? It is coming down for m dot a is constant and u e is equal to constant. For these two constant, uh, the linear increase in air speed will cause linear decrease in thrust force. That's how your air speed is affecting the thrust generated by a craft engine. Now. We have a third parameter which affects the thrust generated by an aircraft engine, which is uh, mass flow rate of your air. Okay, so how exactly this mass flow rate of your air is uh, affecting the uh, thrust generated is that you see, uh, you know, once again we have to write the thrust equation. Okay, so here you can simply see that with increase in mass flow rate, the thrust produced by your aircraft engine is increased. Right? Uh, if the mass flow rate is increased, thrust will increase. If the mass flow rate is decreased, your thrust will decrease. So now we have to see how exactly this mass flow rate will be affected. Mass flow rate of air enters inside the engine is going to be affected. Okay, so how this mass flow rate is going to affect it is basically that is depend on the density of your uh, say rho a v okay so as you can see here uh, your rho a v or rho a u this is the flight speed this is the inlet area and density okay first we have to focus say i'm going to fix the uh, u and a how exactly the mass flow rate is going to be affected by there is if there is a change in your density okay so when there is going to be a change in density if there is a change in temperature and the pressure of your air is changing means obviously that will result in change in density suppose if the temperature of your air is increased what will happen it will decrease the density okay so or you could say that if the temperature is uh, if the pressure is increased what will happen? Your density is going to be increased. See, if the temperature is increased, your uh, density will decrease. If the pressure is increased, your density will increase. So you could say that uh, here, you know that whenever there is an increase in pressure, uh, 
इंडी फिक्स्ड वॉल्यूम व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन इफ द प्रेशर इज इंक्रीज टेंपरेचर विल इंक्रीज दैट इज अ डिफरेंट बट हियर इफ आई एम गोइंग टू टेक एन एयर फ्लो इन दैट एयर फ्लो द इंक्रीज इन टेंपरेचर विल रिजल्ट इन डिक्रीज ऑफ डेंसिटी एंड इंक्रीज इन प्रेशर विल रिजल्ट इन इंक्रीज ऑफ योर डेंसिटी सो this decrease in density will result in decrease of mass flow rate the increase in density will result in increase of mass flow rate so uh, here you could say uh, during your sunny season so there is a or you could say summer season the same engine which is capable of producing say um, 10000 newtons of thrust okay uh, So in general condition, it is able to produce it ten thousand newtons of thrust because of sunny condition or summer. What happens? The temperature is increased. Your density will be uh, decreased. So your mass flow rate will decrease. That may result in reduction of your thrust. See that is capable of producing under standard condition ten thousand newton. But because of the change in your density, because of change in weather condition, what happens? your thrust capability may come down to say 8000 newton suppose in other way during your winter time what is going to happen the temperature will decrease and pressure will increase okay that may result in increased thrust so instead of 10000 it may become uh, 12000 newton okay so you could say the properties of your air is having direct impact on the mass flow rate of air enters inside the engine okay that is once again having the direct impact on the thrust produced by your engine okay see as you can see with increase in pressure your temperature will increase with the decrease in pressure sorry decrease in temperature uh, with increase in temperature your thrust will decrease next one is altitude okay so how exactly this altitude is once again is going to affect the thrust generated is that as you know with change in altitude there is a variation in your Uh, pressure temperature and density right say uh, with increase in altitude what happens to your pressure pressure is decreasing and your temperature also it is decreasing okay so because of this decrease in pressure what is going to happen there is going to be decrease in density which will result in decrease of thrust with increase in altitude say the thrust will be decreased okay Uh, due to the variation in altitude if i am going to climb during the climb operation what is going to happen the thrust generated by the same engine will be keep on coming down and after 36000 feet or you could say 11 km altitude what happens your temperature will remain constant in this location your temperature is keep on coming down after 11 km altitude your temperature remain constant here your pressure is decreasing here your pressure is decreasing okay so as we have seen why there is a sudden decrease in the rate at which your thrust decreasing is increased is because here uh, we know with decrease in temperature your thrust will be increased but uh, here what happens your thrust is decreasing because both temperature and pressure are decreasing here your temperature remains constant and pressure is decreasing that is why after 36000 feet rate at which the thrust produced by your engine will be decreased drastically now uh, a last one which we have something we call it as the uh, ram effect okay so what is this ram effect in sense you see when an aircraft is moving through the air they are moving against the uh, air right so that is your air flow is being rammed or impacted inside the engine inlet okay so because of this impact uh, what happens is that this is increasing the mass flow rate enters inside your engine okay you could say with increase in flight speed it is increasing the mass flow rate okay but we know that with increase in air speed we have seen that the thrust produced will be decreasing okay as such the combination of this effect will result in a uh, different effect you see what happens due to ram effect the mass flow rate enters into your engine will result in increase of mass flow rate 
that will result in increase of thrust force. But at the same time, when the air speed is increased, the thrust, if your UA is increased, the thrust generated will be, uh, once again, it will be uh, creating decrease of your thrust force. As such, the combination of these two will result in there is a, a slight increase in thrust force due to ram effect. Okay. So, individually, if you look into that, due to ram effect, the mass flow rate will increase, uh, your thrust will be increased. But because of increase in air speed, your thrust will be decreased. But the combination of these two will result in there is a slight increase in thrust force due to the ram effect. Okay, so these are all the uh, different parameters which affects the thrust generated by an aircraft engine. So, what are the parameters we have seen? Basically, they are one is uh, the altitude and then uh, nozzle, characteristics of your nozzle and then we have seen the uh, mass flow rate and then we have seen the ram effect. Okay, so with this, I will finish this today's lecture. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.